You know, when a filmmaker does a documentary, I've always wondered what they're trying to sell us. What's their narrative? And so I figured I would share my narrative before we start the film. My great-grandfather Jeff on my mother's side was born into slavery. My great-grandfather Thomas on my father's side was born four years after slavery. I can only imagine the hell that these men went through. I told the world, I talk to God every day. If God's with me, can't nobody be against me. Almost 100 years after my grandparents' suffering, my parents, Reginald and Mel Ray, were now raising two children in the predominantly black section of the North Bronx. And just before you knew it, <laughs> you know, by the time I was 10 years old, it seemed like every person that wanted to help black people was being assassinated, even little kids. But like many other black kids in my neighborhood, we carried ourselves a certain way until we saw Cassius become Muhammad. I must be the greatest! I told the world! Keep your camera moving, because I'm kind of fast. Keep your camera moving. And after you, I want all the basketball players out there, football players, they want me to beat so bad, they want to get everybody. I'll go to Mars, I don't care. I don't care if it was you 10 feet tall, I'll whip you. You're right, I think Hoover said, the boy named Tom Hoover, you might be going to Mars sooner than you think. You, Tom <laughs> Hoover, all of you. Me and Bill Russell are getting ready for Gentlemen, you. Gentlemen, I must And cut it. that beard off because I'm not fighting Billy Goat. <laughs> I, I want to give you a target, I want to give you a target. <laughs> On January 17, 1942, Cassius Clay was born in Louisville, Kentucky. He was raised by his parents, Odessa Clay and Cassius Clay Sr. You know, Muhammad Ali's story is really, I mean, it's, it's ground up in destiny. His bike was stolen when he was 12 years old. He was crying. He goes to a local police officer trying to get his bike back. And he says to the police officer, when I find a kid, I'm going to beat him up. And the police officer says to him, well, do you know how to fight? He says, no. He says, listen, kid, I want you to come down to my boxing gym. And the rest is history. Now, think about this. If that bike wasn't stolen, Muhammad Ali becomes somebody totally different. We don't know who he is. So we need to give an award to the low-life bike-stealing thief because you helped change the world. A few years later, at the age of 18, Cassius makes the Olympic team. Then he goes on to capture a gold medal in Rome. He felt like a hero representing his country, but his feelings about his country were about to drastically change. <laughs> 